Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again and welcome back for day three of our DIY Spa Week. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make an oatmeal honey face mask. Super relaxing. So the point of this again is to relax your uh, skin as well as to rejuvenate your skin. Um, oatmeal is really good as far as uh, allowing for your skin to be able to retain moisture. It helps to treat acne and acne scars as well. Um, and overall, it's just a soothing um, agent for us to use as a face mask. Honey being also a great moisturizer, it's very soothing as well. We're gonna add that to be able to make this natural face mask. And so again, the idea is that you may have some of these items at home already. I'm just gonna use some organic, uh, uh, old fashioned rolled oats, so they're a whole grain. I put them in a bowl here and then I just kind of mash them up just so they can, um, you know, get a little bit finer, if you will. I'd have a finer texture and so it can spread a lot easier on my face. You can also put it in a blender and blend it up so that you can also uh, break down those oats as well. If you want to just use the whole oats, that is totally fine too. We're only gonna use about a half a cup of oats. And then for our honey, try to go for a pure natural honey if you can. And we're just gonna use one tablespoon of that today. And then we'll finish it off with about a half cup of water. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started by adding in my one tablespoon of honey to my oats. Once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and add in that one half cup of water and you don't have to put the whole thing in. Uh, what we're trying to get here is a paste and so we don't want it to be too watery. We also don't want it to be uh, too dry. So we wanna make sure that we kind of meet it in the middle. So just take that half cup and slowly pour in a little bit at a time as you mix. Again, oatmeal and honey, great combinations when it comes down to uh, overall rejuvenation of the skin. The oatmeal is really good as an exfoliant as well uh, because it is, because of its texture, it'll kind of help to scrub off some of those, uh, some of that dead skin that you may have or dry skin. So again, oatmeal may not necessarily be a natural moisturizer, but it does help to retain moisture of your skin. So that's pretty much it. Now at this point, we wanna go ahead and clean our face, make sure that our face is nice and clean. If you joined us in our last segment, I showed you guys how to make lavender and eucalyptus hot towels. This would be a great time to use one of those towels. Clean your face off, make sure that it's free of any makeup, any oil, and then from there, we'll go ahead and take our face mask and apply it. So now that we have our oatmeal and honey face mask put together, I'm gonna first start by making sure that my face is clean um, and rid of any oils, excess oils, or any makeup. Like I said, I'm gonna use one of those hot towels that I made yesterday. Um, I just put it into the microwave, kind of clean that up, or excuse me, kind of heat it up. <laughs> I'm cleaning up my face now making sure that I don't have anything on my face when I do this. You can also put this on your neck as well. Okay. So once I'm done with that, then we'll go ahead and take our honey and oatmeal paste, and then we'll start to apply it to our face. All right, here we are. This is the finished product. So a little messy there, but again, you're dealing with oatmeal and honey. The whole purpose of this is to rejuvenate your face. It feels really good right now. I feel my pores opening up and I just feel that honey really making its way um, into my skin and uh, really being a deep cleanser for me, if you will. And so once you're done with this, 
feel free to just lay down for 10 to 15 minutes and allow for it to absorb into your face. Um, once you're done, make sure that you clean your face and neck region thoroughly using a hot towel or uh, just some hot water, but you wanna make sure that your face is nice and clean. The longer that it sits on your face, the longer that it can set in and really uh, work to rejuvenate and moisturize your skin. So hopefully you guys learned a cool technique and trick for a homemade and natural face mask. I hope you like it. Thanks again for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow.